Hello everybody, my name is Julian of Flow Graphics, and welcome back to another one of my dev diaries for my game Lens Island. And this is a pretty exciting one too. I've actually spent the last week making a whole bunch of changes to the map based on all of your amazing feedback. I got tons of really awesome comments and really good ideas from you guys uh, in last week's video and I've spent this week making them all happen and actually putting them in the games. So I'm going to take you through them all today and let's get to it. Uh, there's been lots of changes. I'll start with some of the smaller ones. Uh, so uh, we had a recommendation or I had a recommendation uh, to add some more tree stumps around the lumberjack's house. Pretty obvious. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of this. Uh, this is just a really good idea. Um, so I added some more tree stumps and actually just tidied up and changed this area a little bit. And this actually directly leads on to one of the really cool parts, which is the new training ground for the weapons. So I had, I think, a couple of people actually uh, mention about a training ground. So just next to Lumberjack House, there's this now, this new training ground, and you can see there's these little combat dummies. And you can actually hit them and they spin around and whack into the ground and all that. Um, so when you do your attacks, you can like basically go buy a weapon and then test on these dummies. And these dummies will actually show um, like the hit markers and exactly how much damage you're doing to them. So a fun way just to test your weapons that actually have like a practical use. And they just look pretty cool. So stoked with that. Thanks for that idea for the training ground. I loved it. And the people that also mentioned sound, I'll just quickly note. Uh, yeah, it feels a bit empty right now. There will be a full soundtrack and sound effects and tons of stuff added to the game. I heard someone even had an idea for a musician. I love that. Definitely adding that. Uh, so yeah, like you could see here, added a little water tower to this little farm section. There will be irrigation for your crops in the game. So you'll be able to actually place those water towers as well. Uh, this part, if you saw the last video, this was all sort of not completed yet. So I filled out this part, uh, filled out a bit of the beach here, add some more sort of little rocky areas. And we've got a little farmhouse. So we've got some uh, little sort of crops here and a farmhouse. This will be an animal pen. I'm not sure what animals are going to be in the game or how they'll sort of work yet. So I'm just leaving it open for now. Obviously, you'll need a gate. Uh, but yeah, so I, I want that to be an animal pen. I'll see how I go. And then onto the little beach area here. I actually had a comment just saying there should be a bit more of a gradient between the forest, going to the beach, adding some little bushes and other sort of shrubs and things that hang around beach areas, which is a great idea. I do more techniques like this on the player's island, so I think it definitely the town needed more stuff like this uh, with the terrain. I'll definitely add a few more things to this area. I think it still looks a little bit bare, but it definitely looks a lot better now. Uh, but that also leads into a little shipwreck. I had some people ask about boats and shipwrecks. I think someone even said a, a whale carcass. So yeah, I, I sort of um, met in the middle and made like a little sort of uh, abandoned sort of boat here that's wrecked into the reef because I actually made a, like a, another boat that you'll be able to see in the Pirate Island. I actually know the Fisherman Island in a second. So I'll take you back over the other side of the map because this is really where the most changes have made place. Uh, the whole Pirate Island is, is basically done now. I had tons and tons and tons of people ask for a lighthouse. I, I did hear you. So there is a lighthouse. So we'll start with the rest of Pirate Island first. Again, another comment was saying maybe the Pirate Island should sort of look like the bad part of town. And I, and I loved that. I really, I, I'm so glad that you said that because I think it was really true. Like it, it should be. Um, and I think the town needed some var variation where not everything's sort of perfect and nice and happy. Um, it's got an island like this where it's a bit more sort of ratchet and a bit more rickety and things, you know, are a bit sort of lopsided and it just looks like it's not the best neighborhood. Um, but I guess the whole sort of theme I'm going for the pirate island is that the pirates just sort of rocked up and just sort of came to this island one time and just went, oh, this is our island now. And they just sort of took it. So you can see like this makeshift bridge that is sort of made themselves onto the Fisherman Island, and everything's just like a bit sort of haphazardly made and a bit crude, uh, which is perfect. And that was all based off that comment. And here we have the lighthouse, and the lighthouse follows, I love the look of this lighthouse, I think it looks pretty cool. And the lighthouse follows the same sort of technique, or I guess idea, that the lighthouse would have been, um, I've got sort of two ideas for the lighthouse right now, and you can sort of see one pretty clearly, uh, that maybe the pirates are keeping something in the lighthouse. So the whole door has been um, sort of like battered down and they've sort of blocked it. And then to get up to the top, they're basically, uh, the pirates have just made their own sort of makeshift staircase and just blown a hole, hole in the wall here so they can just get to the top part. But there's something in here potentially that they don't want to get out. So that's one of my ideas. And I thought they could sort of play into the story of the game later. And fun the funnily enough, the whole reason why I've came up with the story behind the lighthouse is just because making a spiral staircase would have been a little bit too hard to navigate as the player. And it just, it just would have been a little bit too c cumbersome, um, especially just with how it actually would have reacted to the movement controls and 
you would have been sort of, you wouldn't be able to see the player going behind the lighthouse. And I thought it's going to be way easier if I just make an external staircase that can just be on the front of it. And then I thought, well, look, why not sort of give it some story, make it look like it actually fits in. So that's one idea. And then the other idea is just simply the lighthouse was locked when they first arrived. And they were like, they just sort of thought to themselves, oh, we want to claim it as our own. So they just made their own staircase to the top and knocked down a, a hole in the wall. Um, so yeah, they're my two ideas. I think the, the first idea might be a bit more interesting. Maybe there's something inside there that you sort of battle later on in the game. Uh, but yeah, so here's the docks. This will be where a boat that currently, currently looks like a loaf of bread. <laughs> That's my placeholder for the boat. So there will be a boat that will come in and out here sort of periodically every few, ga uh, every few days in game. And that will have different sort of stuff that you can buy and sell. So that will be constantly changing. So it will give you a reason to constantly sort of make a little trip out to the island and just see what's here, see what people are buying and selling. Um, but the pirates have their own sort of types of weapons too. So you can see these weapons scattered about here. These will all be interactable. You'll be able to buy them. Um, and yeah, if you see any weapon around in the game, that will you'll be able to actually use and buy that weapon at some point. So making our way to the Fisherman Island, you might see this is a bit more detailed now. I've got a little boat here that I made and just some little set dressing assets. I made some, some fish hanging up along with a couple of weapons here. So I've got a spear and a sword. So I'm going to have, a, funnily enough, originally I made these for like, a, like an orc or a goblin or something to have. But I just think they look way, way better for some sort of fisherman. So I think I'm going to have like a badass fisherman that is just like a really cool dude that is like a warrior or something that, that sits here. And he just sort of has a simple life living in his little house, but then he also has these amazing weapons from his like pastime that he might sell you. So that that's the sort of idea for this little part. Um, I'm still trying to think of ways to just sort of fill this little island right here up. I think it's looking really good. It just still looks a little bit bare. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what else to add to this island, but I will I will think of something. But yeah, thank you so much for all of the ideas. Um, I've got, I think that's pretty much it for all, all the stuff that I made specifically related to. Oh, another guy said, um, actually, there's too many bridges, which I do sort of agree. I just like the look of all the bridges. So I actually removed a bridge. There used to be a bridge right here. I went, yeah, maybe there's a little bit too many bridges. So yes, I listened to you. I removed a bridge. Um, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, look, that's pretty much all the progress. I, I did all this, obviously, in a week based off your comments. And it was really, really awesome getting all that feedback from all of you because it gave me Tons of ideas that I just wouldn't have thought of myself. And I think it's just pretty cool. Like, not many people get to sort of be part um, in, in making a game. But, you know, all of you people watching, you actually, you guys can have a chance to craft and shape this game with me. Um, and, and that's what I really want to do. That's why I want to use this platform, my YouTube channel, as a way that all you guys can help me make a game. Because, uh, you know, many heads are better than one. And uh, I think it's already proven that you guys already had tons and tons of awesome ideas that have helped me out a lot so keep them coming keep them coming um but yeah there'll be another game dev video in around two weeks and that's a pretty exciting video that's going to be the whole combat update so there's been complete overhaul with the whole combat system for the game pretty exciting i can't wait to show you that one um in between them i've got some other sort of cool videos coming up so keep your eyes peeled but thanks for watching everybody uh, i hope you enjoyed i hope you liked that i added some of your um changes if you're watching and you're one of the people that suggested something in the comments thank you so much for your idea i hope you like it i hope it's good enough <laughs> and um, if you have more ideas leave them in the comments again and i'll get back to you so thanks everybody for watching uh, it's been julian of flow graphics here i hope you have an amazing day see you later